Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey and I'm in my living room right now. I wanted to film in my living room randomly just because I wanted to film in here. I don't know, I just get sick of the same scenery over and over and over again. So last night I was going through some of my makeup and I found some drugstore products that I tested out last night that I really, really want you guys to know about because the drugstore is stepping their game up. Mind you, I have some staple products in here that are not drugstore that I love, love, love that I can just not give up um, like my setting powders like certain things that are still high-end but most of the products in this tutorial that I want to tell you guys about are drugstore products so for my illuminating primer today it needs to be shaken up apparently I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Magic Lumi light infusing primer I really do like this primer because it just adds a nice glow to my face is very similar to the MAC, Shh, whoa, it's very similar to the MAC strobe cream. I need to move my whole, my whole mirror just fell on the floor. I do wanna try this uh, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop primer, but I do have to wear sunscreen because I am going outside. So here, let's just try it. So I'm gonna use the <laughs> NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop primer. I've never used this before, but I've tried it on my hands and it seems very mattifying. So I'm just gonna put it in the areas that I usually get oily, right here in my T-zone area. I'm like, my nose. I got crusty lace glue all on the side of my head. So look at my ears. I have my dad's ears and they stick out and that's life. I'm using this because it has sunscreen in it and this is a great mattifying primer. It's not drugstore, but it has lasted me a really long time and I feel like it's worth the money because it protects my skin from the sun. My dark spots don't get any darker, you know, like protecting the skin and don't get it twisted. Black people need sunscreen. We need sunscreen, okay? We have melanin, but we still need sunscreen. I put this all over my face. You don't need a lot of it at all because a little bit goes a long way as I'm applying a ton of it. As you can see, I put a lot, but I heard you're supposed to put a lot of sunscreen on because, just because. So for foundation today, I'm gonna use the Iman Luxury Concealing Foundation and I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. This is the color N8 and this is in the color Clay 5. I like mixing these two because it gives me the perfect color for my face. And um, this one is a little bit lighter coverage and this one gives me that full, 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 full coverage. And I know, oh, that's a lot. I no longer, that's a lot. So I'm just gonna put a pump. That's too much. So, um, oh yeah, I no longer like color correct or anything. I just lately have been kind of lazy with my makeup and just kind of wanna cut down the time it takes to do it. So I've just been kind of slathering on foundation. And honestly, lately I don't need color correcting as much. I'm just gonna blend those into my skin. I'm using the Real Techniques like I don't know what kind of brush this is. I don't know if it's a foundation brush or what, but it's a really good brush for applying your foundation. And these two foundations like are so pretty together. They look so nice together. And it gives me the right amount of coverage that I want and it also is not super like cakey or anything. Like look at that. I always blend my foundation down my neck not too far down, but like just enough to kind of blend in. So for brows, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. I've been using this for years. Um, drugstore brand eyebrow products just don't do it for me. I don't know what it is. Like I'm so used to using this pomade. Don't look at my wig, okay? Don't look, I have to fix her. Some of the drugstore brands have come out with some bomb eyeshadow palettes. Like I'm shocked. So I'm gonna use the Rimmel London Magnify Eye Spice Edition palette. This is so pretty and the colors go on so nicely. This reminds me of the Morphe 350 palette. And then I'm also gonna use like one color of the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. 
I used this when I filmed with Maybelline and this eyeshadow palette is really good. Like, I'm glad the drugstore is stepping up their game when it comes down to eyeshadows because it's been years. Like, first I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. I'm gonna actually carve out my brows with this. So I just take my MAC 212 brush. This is a great crease brush as well as like carving out the brow brush. I actually wanna get another one just to have because I hate washing brushes and I, I usually wash my brushes almost every time I use them, which I know is excessive but sanitary. I just kinda go in and clean up the brow area. I like a good arch. Yeah, I applied way too much concealer. You definitely don't need this much at all because I went crazy. I'm gonna take this little brush from Juvia's Place and just kind of thin out the concealer a little bit so that it's not super like creasy and thick. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Soda Pop Palette first. I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's like a nice true orange shade. And I'm using a MAC 224 blending brush to put that down. This is like a nice wash of orange. It's not like super pigmented on me, but it's still really pretty. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna use a Morphe 503 brush. And I'm gonna take that and put that a little bit below the color we just put down. This is probably my favorite shade out of the palette. And this palette is so pigmented, okay? Like, I tested it out last night and I was like blown away by how good it was. It really shook me though, it really did. I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's like a nice like brown shade. And I'm gonna use that same Morphe brush. And I'm just gonna blend into that outer corner. Look at how pigmented this color is like. <sighs> I don't even think you guys get the gist of it. Just watching it on your phones or on TV or on your computer because it's so pigmented. Like, And I'm not saying this because they sent it to me, I'm saying it because it's good. And trust me, I get a ton of products that I like test out off camera and they're trash, but like this is probably the first eyeshadow palette from the drugstore that I fell in love with. And Maybelline is stepping up their game too with like their other palettes, but just the shades in this Rimmel palette are very trendy and everyone like loves warm tones and like fall appropriate shades. So I'm gonna take the color Root Beer out of the Maybelline palette. So I'm just gonna take this Makeup Geek small crease brush and I'm gonna dip into that Root Beer shade and I'm gonna put this right in the inner, inner corners of my eye, like really in the tight outer V part. I'm gonna lightly cut my crease. I always say this, but then I always go overboard. I'm gonna use my LA Girl Warm Honey Concealer. I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand. And I'm using my MAC 212 brush, and I'm gonna like put a good amount of concealer on there. And then I'm just gonna cut my crease. I just feel like this look would look so good with a cut crease. And I've been like obsessed with cut creases lately. And I like to look up and then it kind of creates that cut, like where I need to put my cut. Oh, this is not a light cut crease at all. I like to like feather the cut crease out. Just gonna use my fan and kind of dry this cut crease. Yes, I'm extra. I got this fan from the dollar store though. I just noticed when I apply my eyeshadows on top of a wet base, like the concealer, it doesn't go on as well. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. If you have dry lips, get this, please. I hate seeing people with crusty lips 
and matte lipstick. These shades are both very pretty. I just don't know which one I want to use. So I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm just going to apply that shade. Wow. 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 This palette is really good. Sometimes swiping colors, especially on the lid, works a lot better. Like, it looks so good in person, guys. I wish you could see, like, the true color of everything. It looks good on camera, but, like, in person, though. So now I'm going to go in with my NYC liner. But before I do my um, eyeliner, I'm going to use these e.l.f. Um, line and define eye tape because I don't want to mess my liner up today and ain't nobody got time to be sitting here for like an hour just making sure they're even you know and just kind of press them down this is better than using tape because I don't know tape just anytime I use it even if I put it on the back of my hand it just gets really stuck to my eye and these are just really gentle I want my liner thick today too, so. I'm gonna go straight. I can't tell. All right, so what I like to do is keep dropping my mirror and I'm just gonna carve out my um, eyeliner. So now I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. This is like a lash curler from, I think it's from like the dollar store. Let me blend this concealer out before it like stays in place over here. So for lashes lately, I've been using the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. This may sound really weird, but then I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Now the Lash Paradise Mascara has its own base, but I feel like the Voluminous Base goes really good with the um, Paradise one. They just work really well together for me. This base is really good. And so is the uh, Voluminous Mascara, like look, how long it makes my lashes. Um, definitely worth the buy. I just love using it with this mascara. I add lashes. I was gonna use my Salon Perfect 614 lashes, but I have these lashes that I've used like 10 times. They're from Bold Face Makeup, and I like to use my Ulta tool with it, the Ulta Lash tool because this just gets my lashes right on the base of my lash line and I love it. And it just makes applying lashes so easy. And apply some more eyeliner. I'm using the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal. This stuff is so good. Um, when I used to do makeup back in the day, I would use this on brides and when they would cry, their eyeliner wouldn't run and I would use this. So my favorite drugstore concealer lately has been the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And I'm gonna use that today. And this is a really good lightweight concealer. I just kind of, this applicator can get kind of gross though, like unsanitary. So what I like to do is just kind of spray it with alcohol every now and then because it just looks like it'll get gross, but this is a really good concealer. Pelt it in. This color is a little bit dark for my liking. Um. I was looking for the other shade that I had, but I can't find it, so I'm gonna just use my LA Pro Concealer to lighten it up a little bit. This concealer is really, really good, especially if you don't like like a thick concealer. Like the LA Pro Concealer sometimes can get way too thick. This is very, very like full coverage. It's made for dark circles, and it's just really good, but it's not super cakey. Like it's not heavy at all. I love makeup, but I hate cakey makeup. I just kind of create this shape. Put some down the bridge of my nose. 
I just highlight all the areas that I want to stand out. So down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow. Sometimes I put it all over my lip like this and then I get my chin. I'm gonna take a little bit of the warm honey shade on the back of my hand. So I'm just gonna take my equal tool sponge. These you can get at Walmart and I think Target sells them too. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my, um, the LA Pro Concealer. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of pat, like blend the concealer out. What I've been doing lately is taking some of my Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep and this stuff is an investment but it's really good and it will last you a long time. It's not drugstore but it's still really really good and it's worth the money. I've tried so many drugstore setting powders and none of them work like Laura Mercier powders so I just like really gave up and I'm just gonna set my highlight with that and I just kind of press the powder into my skin so if your highlight is a little too bright set your under eye highlight with a darker translucent powder and you'll be good like it'll kind of even everything out I'm gonna use the Too Faced banana cream setting powder and I just use this to brighten up my under eye area like after my concealer and I just take a beauty blender just kind of press into the product and I just press up under my eyes this is just a nice like brightening powder to just brighten up your under eyes without looking super ashy or anything so I'm gonna go in and contour I'm gonna use the L'Oreal infallible Longwear stick this is in the color espresso um, so I just put like a little line because I don't like to look super muddy or anything and blend out that contour like that and you do not need to add a lot of this because a little bit goes a long way with this product and it blends out very like creamy and you just don't need a lot you look really muddy well I do so I just take a, a little bit and just kind of blend it out I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Queen Bronzer. This is in the color Ebony Bronze. I'm gonna use the MAC 138 brush and just kind of apply that on top of my contour. Just to bronze up the face a little bit. And just kind of warm it up. And I like using this like as a blush and a contour. Take the rest and put it along my hairline. And then I take the rest and I kind of pinch it like this and put it down the sides of my nose just to contour my nose a little bit. I like to take some of my Laura Mercier powder in medium deep. I use my Eco Tools. And this is just so satisfying to me and it just makes my contour look so much more neat. So while that's baking, I like to go back into my eyes. So this is how my eyeshadow is looking. Snatched, okay, snatched. So I'm gonna take the same exact colors that we use on the top portion of the lid and use it on the bottom. So I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Soda Pop palette and I'm gonna use this orangey shade right here. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 217 brush that we used earlier. And I'm just going to kind of run that on the bottom lash line. Just very uh, sloppily, sloppily, like in no specific way. Just kind of sweeping it under there. Next, I'm going to go into my Rimmel palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm just going to get even closer to the lash line and just kind of blend it out. Then I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek Crease Brush. I'm gonna use this shade right here. Uh, 
um, some of this root bear shade with that same little crease brush and just get really, really close to the lash line and just really smoke it out. So now I'm just gonna go in with this MAC 140 S brush. You don't have to use this brush, you can just use whatever you have. I'm just gonna sweep the powder away. I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Eyeliner. Yes, it's an eyeliner, but I'm gonna use it on my lips. This is in the color Lasting Brown. Like, look how crazy that goes on. Like, this is definitely a lip liner, okay? And you know how good eyeliner is supposed to stay in place. So it gets really like stiff really fast. But once you add your lipstick or lip gloss, you'll be fine. Now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Modern Metals Liquid Matte Lipstick. <laughs> that was a lot. But this is such a pretty pumpkin-y orange shade. So I'm gonna use the Pro Fusion Blush in Glow highlighting palette and I've been loving this shade right here. I'm gonna use a Ofra fan brush. I'm gonna apply this to the high points of my cheeks. And I love layering like highlighter colors. I don't know about you but like one color is just not good enough for me. I just like a really bronzy gold, not natural but like a natural color. Like, I don't like anything super white. I just want something that's like my skin tone, but glowy. Um, one of my favorite highlighters of all time from the drugstore is from Target. I don't even think they sell Sonia Kashuk um, highlighters anymore at Target, but this is so good. Um, so many of you guys have told me that you bought it and you loved it, but I don't even think they sell it anymore and I don't even know if I can find it online. And I go on top of that Profusion highlighter. Now we can go in and spray my face. And I mainly spray my cheeks because I want my highlight to pop. Um, I try to avoid my eyeshadow because I don't want setting powder on my eyeshadow and my lips. So I just really do my cheeks mainly. Thank you guys for watching this video of me slaying my face in my living room. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any comments about future videos, give me some ideas because I always need them. Uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!